right? I ordered a number two with regular hamburgers. Okay. They put cheese when the on. Guy, no, when the guy was done, and I questioned him, he gave me my receipt. I looked at it. The receipt somewhere. It said cheeseburger meal, and then underneath it said one cheeseburger plain. So Mike went to order, and I put my hand in front of Mike. I said, Mike, wait, before you order, let me get this fixed to save them a lot of grief. And I said, fuck you. <laughs> so I said to the kid, I says, I ordered two regular plain hamburgers. No, regular hamburgers. He goes, well, that's what you're getting. I said, no, it says, gee, whatever he says. He goes, no, that's what you're getting. I said, okay. I walk over to the right. The lady puts two cheeseburgers in the thing and turns around. So I'm trying to get everybody's attention, and all the people that are standing within a foot away from me won't respond to me. Hello, hello, yeah, hello, yeah. hello. Then I finally get the, the manager who's standing there, and I explain to him, I said, I asked for two regular hamburgers. There's cheeseburgers in here. Okay. Now, she's she's still fixing all his other mistakes that he caused. Was this the one that lied to the, when he asked him the... Uh, no, that was Wendy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So with that, she turns around and takes the bag. I see it take out one cheeseburger and throw it away. So now I realize I'm going to get one original cheeseburger, and I don't know what's coming next. So I go back to the guy a second time. I was just standing there, like looking at the space, right? And I said to him, I figured before... They screwed some, us up again. Yeah, I said before something goes down and it happens again, there's one cheeseburger still in the bag, and I don't know what she's getting me. You might want to walk over there and rectify this now. Right? I'm nice, right? Nice as could be. And the kid says to me, he goes, no, you got to tell her that. I said, I got to go tell her that? Yeah. She puts in the bag two plain cheeseburgers. So it's a burger and cheese. No onions, no pickle, no ketchup, no special sauce. Hold the pickles, hold the lettuce. None of that shit. Right? So I tell her, all I wanted was two regular hamburgers. I said, I've been telling him that. Meanwhile, now the orders are backing up from all the mistakes the kid made, including his. And the girl next his. to the kid. Yeah, everybody. There's a whole crowd of people's orders that he got wrong. And the kid wouldn't help me because he was leaving. So he clocks out. So not only does he get everything wrong, she rips him a new ass for clocking out. And the only reason he was standing there, tell him why he was standing there. What? The, after he got all this wrong, there's 10 people there. She's screaming at everybody. The people in the back can't figure out how to make a regular hamburger, right? Right. Right? What did they give the kid? An ice cream sundae. <laughs> and I said to the lady, Now you're it, fired. Yeah, what does it take to get fired here? And the girl who was making a mistake, she's there with a phone. Dude, when I was 18 years old, if the boss told me something, I shit in my pants. Yeah, right. Well, that's, that's the difference. This last place that I that I worked, the new mat, the new uh, that he took in, made everybody. Nobody was allowed to carry a cell phone. Could not have a cell phone on your person. I mean, it's good and bad, but I mean. And if they saw you on, if you had gone to back to your toolbox and your phone rang and you're on a personal call, whoo, they were fucking free. I mean, they call me old-fashioned at work. They call me unrealistic. They call me names I can't mention. But I'm a firm believer is when you come into work, your cell phone goes to the side. Yeah. You're allowed your break. You're allowed your full lunch. You're allowed your second break. If you're a smoker, smoke during that time. If you want to talk on the phone, talk during that time. Unless it's an emergency. And if it's an emergency, I mean, someone's getting hurt, somebody's dying, and you're running around in circles. That's an emergency. If you have to contact, say, a school because something's happening with your child, walk up to the manager and say, I'd like to take my break early. I need to call the school. We have problems. But no, what I see is I see people on the phones all day long laughing and laughing in managers' faces to the point where they say, ah, fuck it. It's easier to just let it go. So then, it, so then it's like, as I word it, it's an undisciplined child that's now put into society for society to deal with. Right. And that's it. And it fucks everybody. Everybody suffers from it. You talk about the and they want to give these guys $15 an hour. $15 an hour. Can't make a hamburger. Yeah, I doubt they pay. They pay.
$15 an hour. <laughs> $15 an hour. 